But first, a truck falls into a sinkhole on a busy southwest Houston street. And good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sion Rhodes. That sinkhole reported on Chimney Rock and Clarewood today. Channel 2's Anusha Rasta there live. So, Anusha, what's being done to fix this thing? Sion, City of Houston just pulled up, and city crews surrounded this sinkhole with yellow caution tape and orange barriers. They're trying to figure out what caused part of this street to collapse. They think at this point it may be storm related. Now, in the meantime, they plan to cover the hole with metal plates so nobody else drives into it. But he went flying. Whoa, Lord, and everybody, you know, there were several of us, ran over to him. Douglas Carter was standing in the parking lot of this strip center when he heard a loud noise. He says it sounded like someone had gotten into a car accident. When he made his way over to the street, this is what he saw, a five-foot sinkhole in the road. And there was a truck with two people in it that was stuck inside. The gentleman was very lucky. Nothing happened to him or his compadre. We went outside, we saw the truck, you know, all dismantled. Billy Lemus works across the street and saw the truck stuck in the sinkhole too. He took these pictures of it on his cell phone. Billy says he saw the truck go flying three feet into the air after it hit the sinkhole. It's kind of scary. City crews arrived to help the man in this truck get his vehicle out of the sinkhole. Douglas says the truck was also leaking fuel, so hazmat crews arrived to clean it up. We tried to direct traffic around it real quick. Witnesses say nobody was hurt in the accident, but Billy's worried that the sinkhole will hurt business at his cell phone store. They're going to be like, what if it's, you know, around these streets also, you know, so they might get scared and might not come into the store. And back out here live, the city says crews will most likely repair the sinkhole tomorrow morning. If the problem is a minor one, it could take crews anywhere from uh, several days to a week to fix it. If it's a more serious issue, it could take several weeks. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, Anusha Rasta, KPRC, Channel 2 News.